in the next Long Island got close to a foot of wet, heavy snow, causing a number of problems from down power lines to school closings. And tonight, more than 14,000 people are still without power in Nassau and Suffolk counties. Rosemary Gomez has more. The heavy snow may have left Long Island looking like a winter wonderland, but many homeowners could have done without this last vestige of winter just a week before spring. With parts of Nassau getting as much as 9 inches and Suffolk as much as 10, the sleet turned snow weighed heavy on plenty of power lines, leaving more than 100,000 LIPA customers without service at some point. I spent a good 15, 20 minutes going around the house resetting the clocks. About 10% of LIPA's customers woke up to find they had no electricity. By midday, all but 30,000 were restored. I got fish inside that if the power don't get on, my fish are going to die. Tom in Wantaw was worrying about how his tropical fish would fare without their electrical heater, but he got a personal assurance from LIPA chairman Richard Kessel. Well, the good news is we have a crew right here. Okay. We're just getting some instructions back, right. and your electricity will be back on within an hour. He said crews were doing their best to deal with all of the down lines. You know, the good part of uh, having a snowstorm in March is that uh, uh, it melts very quickly. The bad part is the snow becomes heavier, it creates outages. But kids weren't disappointed with this last remnant of winter. Plenty had the day off. And while it was a headache for their parents, you're only a kid once. Pick up and move as soon as you're done. Come on. Sledders were lining up at Bethpage State Park just waiting for some thrills and chills on the slopes. Pick it up, pick it out. Those that weren't sledding were using the last wallop of winter to build some whopping snowballs. How long did it take you? It took me from at least my, my next door neighbor's house down to here. As long as it was a winter without blizzards, the latest snow was all right. Kept me home from work, you know? That's a good thing. <laughs> With spring just around the corner, they made the best of what looks like winter's last snow day. In Farmingdale, I'm Rosemary Gomez for the WB11 News at 10. Well, residents in other parts of the tri-state area were also caught off guard by this storm. Tens of thousands of power outages were reported throughout the metropolitan area, and getting around was difficult. But for some, it turned out to be a welcome change. Pauline Liu reports. After a late winter storm socked the tri-state area with several inches of snow, many began this morning by digging out. I thought it was over, but unfortunately it wasn't. So. What do we do? Well, I'm not too excited because I have to do all this by myself. In the suburbs, it was slow going if you had to get anywhere on foot. A tough day to be a letter carrier. Why? It's a nightmare. It's tough because it slows us down. With spring just around the corner, the storm caught many in the tri-state area by surprise. Downed power lines resulted in tens of thousands of outages throughout the region. Repair crews had their work cut out. In southeastern Connecticut, shelters were set up for families left in the dark. Outside Ridgewood Junior High School in Queens, some tense moments as down the electrical lines caused a nearby telephone pole to catch fire. The school was evacuated after smoke began coming out of nearby manholes. Down tree branches also wreaked havoc on traffic throughout the day, making some street passable. In the Westchester County city of White Plains, members of the Forestry Department and the Highway Bureau came to the rescue, making quick work of a large maple tree branch that blocked a traffic intersection. The same crew removed a large branch that fell dangerously close to a house and onto a power line. About 100 such calls have come in so far. A lot of busted trees, tops out, uh, blocking the road, a lot of power lines down. It was, however, a good day to be a kid. With many schools closed because of the storm, some headed for the hills. I like the snow, it's really fun. In Newark, New Jersey, we caught up with some kids enjoying their first snowball fight of the season. While the storm caused inconveniences for many today, the good news is much of it will be a melted memory by tomorrow. I'm Pauline Liu for the WB11 News.